We're pleased to be joined now by, uh, on the Michigan Megacast by Sonia Weston, founder of Young People Travel Global Edge. Sonia, appreciate you being with us. Hello, thank you for having me. Appreciate having you on. So you're the founder of Young People Travel Global Edge. Can you tell us about the organization, uh, its history, and, and what prompted you to find this organization? Absolutely. Um, we're excited to have this mission that um, you know that we have offered to youth for the past three years. Young People Travel Global Edge started as a um, as a mission of exposing our youth in the inner city to the world. And um, by doing that, it was just not a vacation for them, but we wanted to focus on areas that we thought would impact um, Michigan and also the lives of our youth. So we started um, programs that will allow them to expand their knowledge and to get exposure on an international stage for entrepreneurship, educational choices, career opportunities, sports, and of course, cultural immersion. Um, this was something that um, I had a story that um, I thought that all, all students and children around the world, um, especially in Michigan, had an opportunity to travel because I traveled as a kid. But I noticed um, that that was not the, the, you know, the fact. And um, once I started to realize that, I said, what can I do to make a difference so that these students in the city of Detroit can have a global edge as well? So where are some of the places that the students that have participated in, the, in this experience have gone? So we have had um, students go to um, South America, into Asia. We just returned from Dubai, which was an amazing opportunity. And um, we had students that have gone to the Caribbean islands to do um, some community service. And we have a schedule for the next two years set up where they will be um, going to Africa. They will be going back to South America, to Colombia. And then also we have um, Asia on the schedule again. So if people are interested, if uh, families are interested in signing their kids up for this, pro for this program, if the kids are interested and would like to learn more, uh, what is the process for signing people up, for signing their kids up or their loved ones up to, to participate in Young People Travel Global Edge? Well, the best place to start is our website, which is yptglobaledge.org. And that will um, open up the world of our activities and our programs that we have throughout the year. Our students don't just travel the world. We actually prepare them to travel through our learning journey programs. We have summer camps. We also have programs that are done um, after school, online, and we are opening up two new um, summer camps in Pontiac and Lansing this year. So we are excited about that. And um, by going to our website, it will allow you to register for those events and also um, register as one of our youth ambassadors, which is the, the cohort of students that get to travel with us. Upcoming trips include in, in the summer to Africa, Dakar, and Senegal uh, in February of 2023 in South America in Colombia. Again, as Sonia had mentioned, we're joined by Sonia Weston, the founder of Young People Travel Global Edge. More information on the website, yptglobaledge.org. That's yptglobaledge.org or on the Share Detroit platform at sharedetroit.org. Uh, Sonia, if, if, uh, if people would like to help participate in, in this organization, help you with, with the services that you're providing to kids in Detroit, how can people get involved with volunteer opportunities or work opportunities with Young People Travel Global Edge? Excellent for that because volunteers is really what keeps us going. So again, they can visit our website, also Share Detroit, assist us with getting some amazing um, volunteers. So we are always looking for volunteers for our camp. Um, what is a volunteer to us? Someone who has traveled abroad as a student in college, someone that um, works at the corporation that may have um, offices in other countries. We love mentors that have experienced um, travel or worked abroad. So if you are um, a person that will love to work with our youth and share your international experience, we would love to have you. Uh, we have events coming up where we also need volunteers as well. We just um, we just finished our um, 2022 tea for International Women's Day. So next year, we're always looking for amazing women that represents our mission as well. Also, virtual opportunities available through Young People Travel Global Edge on their website, yptglobaledge.org. Sonia, just another minute with you before we'll say goodbye. Anything else that we haven't discussed uh, that you'd like to touch on or other topics that we should uh, be keeping an eye out for with, you know, with your organization in the near future? Well, you know, what's important is just having community support. You know, we have uh, initiative 
where we would love to have our local um, corporations to sponsor a student. You know, what's important is to allow our students to see the world, but we want them to bring back those gifts, those conversations, that knowledge, so that we can impact the state of Michigan. You know, we want to keep our talent here in Michigan, but expose them to opportunities that will allow them to have that global edge and have an opportunity to say, hey, what is happening in the world we can bring back and we can even make our state better, our youth better, our education opportunities better. So all of our local corporate sponsors, we're always looking for more, you know, think about it an engineer that interns mm -hmm. with your company in the UK and then they come back to work for you here in Michigan. Think about someone that actually plays an instrument and you know overseas and then they come back and they're a part of our orchestra here. All those things are um, definitely will assist our um, economy and assist what we have going on with our youth and I know it will impact the world as well. Sonia, thank you so much for joining us. You're very welcome, thanks for having us.